What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Shoe Care Academy video. I'm Johnny Bubbles and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to clean these Air Jordan 1 pollens that look like a mechanic was rocking them this past weekend to do some oil changes. Bro, hold on, what are you doing? That is mad obnoxious, bro. the thumbnail, bro. No, that is crazy. I can't do this video, bro. You gotta clean these shoes up, man. No, I can't do this today. Cut, CK, cut, cut. I'm, I'm sorry, photos, bro. bro. No, I'm sorry, I can't do this today, bro. I'm gonna give you the apron. I'm gonna take the camera, you do the video. You got this. Sure thing, bro, can't be that hard. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. Come on, CK, let's get this done. All right, guys, sorry about that intro. Johnny and I had a little misunderstanding, but we're good now. Uh, my name is Miguel. I handle all the photography here at Rejuvenator, and I actually had the pleasure of rocking these for like the last month, you know, getting them scuffed up, creased. I actually went on a super dope hike with CK. Show that footage one time. So today, we're gonna be cleaning up these pollens with the Essential Cleaning Kit. So for before and after purposes, we'll go ahead and set this left shoe to the side, just like that. And you wanna start off with removing the laces. So we got these laces out. I'm gonna go ahead and set these in the water, let those soak in, knock all that dirt off. All right, so the next step is, you wanna grab your shoe tree. Uh, this is a size 11, so we're gonna try the third notch down real quick. Perfect, as Johnny does it. So once your shoe tray is in there, grab your solution. Give yourself a good two squirts. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started with the soft bristle brush. Go ahead and dip that in the solution. <laughs> all right, dope. So we're all done with our soft brush. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab our towel, get this shoe dry. Um, and I actually talked a little bit about this shoe. I mean, rocking these for the past month was dope. Got my Chef Fair fits off. It's honestly kind of a loud shoe. When I first get a pair of shoes, I'm always thinking about like what laces are gonna look the best in them. For these, I honestly couldn't decide. I had to go with the one yellow, one black, as you saw in the first shot. For that, to me, it just really set it off. Gave it enough contrast, not too much color. The best way to rock this shoe is the two-tone laces. Shoes all dry, we'll grab the medium brush, hit the midsole, and then the last step will be the stiff brush for the outsole. So I'm done with that stiff brush. I'm gonna grab our towel, dry this off. And I'm actually realizing that there's a little piece of goop. Zoom in on that for me, CK. It's a little piece of gunk, gunk, goop, whatever we wanna call it. Uh, so for that, we're gonna take care of it with our trusty ice pick. If you don't got one at home, don't try it with a toothpick. That did the trick. All right, shoes looking much better. We'll go ahead and set this to the side and take care of these laces. Now I'm gonna set these outside to dry. Bro, okay, wait, did y'all see? All right, so we're back. We had to let the shoe dry for about 24 hours, but it's looking really crispy. It cleaned up really nice. I had to hit the stitching on the midsole one more time with a stiff brush. So if you get these dirty, just make sure you clean them up ASAP. So final thoughts on this shoe. It's absolutely taking me back to like eighth grade, freshman year vibes with the black and yellow, black and yellow. 
So let me know how I did on this shoe. If you'd like to see me cleaning more shoes on this set, or if I should just stick to the photography, let me know, man. Um, but that'll do it for today's video. You can find the essential kit on rejuvenator.com. If you liked today's video, leave a like and subscribe. And hey, let me know if you want me to stick around. I'm Miguel ST. Hope to see you guys soon. Peace.